Hello, how are you today? Hi, hi. How are you? Hello, 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 teacher. teacher. How are you today? I am fine. Fine, fine. Great. I'm fine. Let me check attendance. Tell me present as I call you. That's one commercial, chicos. We finish on Monday, right? So, eh, hoy recibieron la carta de satisfacción, ¿verdad? Yes. Sí. Recuerden que eso lo llenamos juntos el último día de clase, ¿verdad? Eso significa que el lunes vamos a estar trabajando en eso. Así es que solo esperar. Well, tell me present, Ana. Ana, here. Yes. Carolina. Present, teacher. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Okay, Mitchell. Present teacher. Isabel. Present teacher. Jose Alfredo. Jose Alfredo. No. Juan Jose. Present. Karen. Present teacher. Carla. Carla Lorena. Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. Perdón por no poner la cámara, pero voy manejando. Okay. Luis Mauricio. Luis Mauricio. No hay Mauricio. Marina Vanessa. Present teacher. Noé David. Noé David. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Nice. Teresa de Jesús. Yuri Alexandra. Present me. David. Present teacher. Excelente. Vamos a ver. Eh, Noé David. Luis Mauricio, Carla Lorena, present teacher, sí. eh, José Alfredo, present teacher, voy para mi casa, ok, Ana Alicia, Ana Alicia, ok, well, Nice, nice. We have a lot of things to do today. So, well, let's just start. Tell me uh, what you remember from last class, right? We were talking about a lot of things last class. Okay, let's see here. Let's go to the beginning. Okay. 
game. Well, we're going to, uh, to start practicing pronunciation, right? Pronunciation of some sentences where we are going to be using the vocabulary of the week, right? This is vocabulary that we have been using this week in this unit. Okay, repeat after me. The company's assets were to calculate. The, con the company's company. assets were easy to calculate. Were easy to calculate. That it was difficult to quantify the value of the employee expertise. But it was difficult to quantify the value of the expertise. Expertise. Liabilities are recorded on the right side of a balance sheet. Why is Where will be the liabilities? Here or here? Hmm? Liabilities are recorded on the right, the right here, right? And assets are recorded on the left. Okay, now let's go to the next sentence. We studied the balance sheet because, uh, carefully to see if the assets exceeded the liabilities and shareholders' equity. Okay. We studied, repeat, repeat. We studied the balance sheet. We studied the balance sheet carefully to see if. If the assets, the assets, if the assets exceeded the liabilities, exceeded the liabilities, the liabilities and shareholders' equity, and shareholders' equity, equity, she recorded the purchase. She recorded the purchase of the new laptops as a debit entry. Of the new laptops as a debit entry. One more time. She recorded the purchase of the new laptops as a debit entry. She Now let's go to the next sentence. She realized that the debit. She realized, she realized, she realized, she realized that the total credits didn't equal the total credits. Didn't equal, equal the total credits. The total credits. So she had to check each entry all over again. So, so she had to check, to check each entry, entry all over, over again. again. Okay, one more time. The company's assets calculate. The company's the company assets were easy to calculate. That it was difficult to quantify. That that. But, but it, it was, was difficult, difficult to quantify. To quantify. Difficult to quantify. The value of the employee's expertise. 
the value of the, the, value value of the employee's expertise. expertise. Okay. Liabilities are reported on the right side. Liabilities, Liabilities are reported on the right, right, on the right, on the right side. side of the balance sheet. Of the balance, of the balance sheet. sheet. While assets are listed on the right side. While assets are listed on the left. While, While assets, assets on the left. are listed, are listed on, the on the left. We studied the balance sheet carefully. We studied the balance, balance sheet, sheet carefully. To see if the assets exceeded the liabilities. To see if the assets, see if the assets exceed the, the liabilities. La, 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 the liabilities, la, liabilities. And shareholders' equity. Shareholders' equity. And shareholders', shareholders equity. equity. She recorded the purchase of the as a debit entry. She recorded the purchase of the new laptop as a debit entry. She realized she realized that the total debit she realized that the total debit she realized equal the total credit. Equal the total credit. So she had to check each entry all over again. So she had to check each entry all over again. again. Mm. Okay, we have three more sentences here. In order to decide, in order to decide if the company was worth investing, es si valía la pena, verdad, invest, invertir en esa empresa. In order to decide if the company was worth investing in, they wanted to look at the profit, is that when making over the previous year. Okay, one more time, repeat. In order to decide, in, 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 order, in order, order to, to decide, decide if the company, if the company was or investing in. They wanted to look, they wanted to look at the profit, at the, at profit, the, profit, at the profit, it has been making over. It has been, 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 been making over the previous year. The previous year. 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 Previous year. The previous year. This year. Previous year. Okay. Now let's see the next sentence. Our company, our company, our company, our company has experienced, has experienced, experienced a decrease in revenue due to the financial crisis. A decrease in revenue due to the financial crisis. Our company has experienced a decrease. Our company, Our company, company has, has experienced a decrease. Our company has experienced a decrease in revenue due to mm -hmm. the financial crisis. In revenue, in revenue to the to financial, crisis. The financial crisis. And the last one. He couldn't start a business because he didn't have enough capital. He couldn't, he couldn't start, start a business start a because business he, he didn't, didn't have, have, have enough, enough capital. capital. So he decided to work as a freelancer for the time 
D. So, so, so he decided to work as a freelancer as for the time, being. The time being. Time being. Okay, very good. Any questions over there? Questions? Teacher. Yeah. Repeat, please. Second. Oración, por favor. Excuse me. Si puede repetir la segunda oración, que ahí tengo dudas en algunas pronunciaciones. Por favor. Our company has experienced a decrease in revenue due to the financial crisis. Revenue. This is revenue. Revenue. Decrease. Decrease. Due. Financial crisis. Financial crisis. Now, can I have volunteers to read? Let's yes. Okay, go ahead. Puedo pedir a otro compañero y vamos una oración cada uno. Sure, of course. Vaya. The volunteers or or or. <laughs> Vale, Marina quiere, una y una, Marina. Vale, está bien. Yo empiezo, vale. My abilities are recorded on the right side of the balance sheet, while assets are list, listed on the left. We study the balances sheets carefully to see if the assets excel the liabilities. Liabilities. Liabilities and shareholders equity. 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 She recorded the purchase of the new laptop as a debit entry. She realized, realized, she realized that the total debits didn't equal the total credits. So she had to check each entry all over again. 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 Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. In order to decide if the company was worth investing in, they wanted to look at the profit it had been making over the previous year. Our, com our company has experienced a decrease in revenue. 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 Die to the financial crisis. Mm -hmm. Due to, due to the financial crisis. Due to, due to, due to. Yes. He couldn't start a business because he didn't have enough capital. So he decided to work as a freelancer for the time being. Great, hey, that's nice. Okay. It's like, como se dice asset or asset? Assets. Yeah. Thank you, Marina. Okay. Thank you, Marina and Anna. I would like two more volunteers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Big team. teacher, con alguien más. Okay, good. And who else? Uh, voy a ir una y uno o solo yo Pregunto. vamos a ver quién va a leer con Juan mi Rosailda okay <laughs> Rosailda and then we will listen to Karen and and another bolo <laughs> va okay go ahead okay liabilities are recorded on right side of the balance sheet why asset 
are listed on the left. Right. We study the balance sheets carefully to see if the assets access, uh, access the liability and shareholding equity. equity. She recorded the purchase of the new laptops as a debit entry. She realized that the total debits didn't equal the total credits, so she had to check each entry all over again. In order to decide if the company was worth investing in, they wanted to look at the profit in had been making over the previous year. Profit. Our company has experienced a decrease in revenue due to, due, due to the financial crisis. The financial crisis. The financial crisis. 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 He could, couldn't start a business because he didn't have enough capital, so he decided to work as a freelancer for the time being. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Juan and Rosy. Now let's see Karen and... And who? Volunteer or victim? <laughs> Need teacher. Okay. Edwin, go ahead. Go to the previous. Let's see. Who is that? <laughs> Lady Stewart. <laughs> okay. Liabilities. Are... Hola. Aquí se vale. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Liabilities are record on the right side of the balance sheet, while assets are list, listed of the left. We studied the balance sheet carefully to see if the assets exceeded the liab liabilities and shareholders' equity. Key record the purchase of the new lactose as a debit entry. She realized that the total debits didn't equal the total credit, so she had to check each entry all over again. In order to decide if the company was worth investing, investing in, they wanted to look at the profit it had been making over the previous year. Our company has experienced a decrease in revenue due to the financial crisis. Financial crisis. He couldn't start a business because he didn't have enough capital. So he decided to work as a freelance for the type begin. Thank you. I feel so proud. Yeah. Congratulations. Now, check this. Here, we're going to have some vocabulary, right? First, we're going to have some of the words that we already know. For example, assets, liabilities. Here, we had the balance sheet that are words that are not new, right? We have been talking about them all the way. Check the definition. Uh, well, you're not supposed to see the definition. Let me do something here. Okay, tell me, what are assets? What are assets? Los activos. Okay. And if you want to give me a definition in English, ¿Qué son los activos? ¿Qué 
son los activos. Escuchados. Ahí está, para que no les aparezca. Ajá, a ver. Give me a definition in English for assets. I am reading in Google. It doesn't matter. Okay, tell me. Dice, a property owned by a person or company regarded as having value in available to meet debits, commitments, or letters. Okay, great. Check. But I didn't understand. <laughs> Okay, the assets, it's everything the company owes, including cash, accounts receivable, that is money that the company is going to receive later on, and properties or goods. ¿Qué son? Los assets. Ya su compañerito dijo activos, pero ¿qué son los activos? Yo soy bien activo. What does it mean activos? Mm. Uy, cámaras, chicos. No me dejen solita. Cámaras, 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 cámaras. Thank you. Como todos los bienes que usted tiene. Exacto. All the things the company eh, has. Pero si hablamos bienes, solo son cosas, right? Pero si hablamos de todo, sí, todo lo que la compañía posee, todo. No solo los bienes, right? No just the goods. Cash accounts or money that the company is going to receive later, eh, properties and goods. All those things are, vamos a ver, vamos a esto. Mm -hmm. So all those things are assets. Todo lo que la empresa posee. Right? Todo. Los goods son los bienes. Properties, las propiedades, right? So, the properties, the money, all the, the things that the company is, I see, in general, everything are the assets. What are the liabilities? Mm -hmm. Is this term clear? Me gustó esta definición porque es así como que bastante amigable para los que no somos de contabilidad, ¿verdad? Bastante amigable. Yes, ¿No fue Shatia? ¿With the assets? Shatia, yeah. Ana. Thank you, teacher. I understood. ¿Verdad? Está más fácil, más, más así. Más detalladita. What are liabilities? ¿Qué son liabilities? Dice que es something person or company owns usually a sum of money. Exacto. So we have a own. ¿Qué significa? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre owns y owes? No es lo mismo. Lo que posee y lo que debe. ¿Sí? Lo que posee. Todo lo que la empresa posee son assets. Y todo lo que la empresa debe son liabilities. ¿Sí? Por ejemplo, loans. ¿Se acuerdan qué significa loans? Ayer mencionábamos bank loans. Como préstamo. Los préstamos. What are more mortgages? Mortgage. A mortgage. ¿Qué significa mortgage? Amortización. <risa> Hipoteca. Hipotecas, exactly. Las hipotecas. Muchas veces las empresas hipotecan el, el, el local, ¿verdad? Y esto se convierte en una liability. Ya no es un asset porque ya lo debe. Si, si 
si fue a hipotecar la, la, la empresa, ya se convierte en liability, by tax and mortgage. Check the difference, what the company owns, what the company owes. ¿Sí? ¿Estamos bien hasta allí? Yes. Yes, teacher. Now check what's a balance sheet. What is? Mm -hmm. in, in my words, at is the the page that show your your um, your entrance and salida. No sé, pero su entrada y sus salidas. Okay, the incomes and outcomes, right? It is a document, the balance sheet is a document that records, ya sabemos que son assets and liabilities, ¿verdad? Entonces, this document records the company's assets and liabilities at a certain moment in time, yeah? If we're talking about a public company, it shows the shareholders' equity. Los shareholders son aquellas personas, los inversionistas, diríamos, right? Also, the balance sheet is based on the account, uh, accounting equation. Assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity. ¿Sí? Activos igual a pasivos más capital, lo que han llevado contabilidad, ¿verdad? That's assets equal liabilities plus the owner's equity. The balance sheet is important for potential investors because they can see how the company is doing. Si se acuerda, en una de las oraciones decía que era de ver el balance sheet para saber si valía la pena invertir en esa compañía. So, well, sí. Right? It's because of this. A potential investor wants to know if the company is really making money. No sé si ustedes han visto esos programas de los charts. Si los han visto. The people get there with a the product they have invented and they want to show that the product works. But what they ask them is, how many uh, or how much money they are making. See? If they are making enough money, then the chart say, well, yeah, it is safe for me to, to invest. If no, mm -mm. I won't invest, right? So, but the balance sheet, it's something that will help us. Now, what is the capital? What does it mean capital? No the capital of El Salvador is El Salvador. No, not that context. This is another context. Mm -hmm. Tell me in your own words, what you think is capital? The money that you have. Okay. Yes. And this is cash. Cash and funds. Estos son fondos, right? Los fondos. Cash and funds. But also the machinery and tangible assets. Los activos tocar, right? That can contribute to earning more money. Like, for example, computers, company vehicles, intangible assets, for example, Expertise, reputation, por ejemplo, si su compañía es experta en, por ejemplo, experta en enseñar el idioma inglés. Ese expertise es un in, intangible asset, pero es importante, es parte de mi capital. Tengo personal capacitado, que es experto, tengo reputación, right? Pero eso mismo. So I have in capital 
todo lo que puedo ver, puedo tocar. ¿Sí? Si yo tengo expertise, reputation y todo eso, ¿is that capital? No. ¿Por qué no? Porque no lo puedo tocar. ¿Sí? No es, no es dinero. So, remember, all cash, funds, machinery, y todo aquello que yo puedo tocar, that's tangible assets, that will help me make more money, capital. What about cash flow? What is the cash flow? ¿Qué significa cash flow? ¿Quién se acuerda? Mm -hmm. Reports on a company incoming and are coming. Exactly. So we have money coming, money, money time. So the money coming in, the money come, going out. That movement of the money, that's cash flow. Money entering, money going out. Yeah. That's cash flow. Money in and out, right? Now, what's the payroll? Here we, here we come with the new vocabulary because this was not new, right? What's payroll? Who knows? You sign a payroll in your work or you sign a payroll or or a pay form. What's the difference between payroll and pay form? Mm -hmm. What's the difference between payroll and pay form? I am looking for any idea. Payform, as the last class, it's the, the uh, document that you, in, that you write your, for example, if something is wrong, you can change your product. So you have a pay form. No. You're talking about last unit when we were talking about a form for you to, to exchange a product or for returning a product, right? Yes, maybe I am making a mistake. Yes. Okay. In this case, when we're talking about pay form, we're talking about that page that you receive every month that says the amount of money that you earn because you were working you get paid, but they give you a page. In that page, it says what is your liquid money, right? Uh, what is, for example, if you work or our time, how many hours have you worked? The amount of money you earn per hour, the total of the money, well, all the discounts that you're getting, and the money that you receive at the end. That's a pay form. But it's a page, just by a here you have it, you sign it, it's only your information. All detail, but your information only. But in the payroll, you have a complete sheet where you will see name by name, but all the, 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 the liquid, every discounts of social security, AFP, eh, Hacienda, right? Each discount and the total that you're going to receive and then a space for you to sign. And your partner comes, has the same document and sign under your name because his name is here and they have to sign. But it's a big thing that's a, a, a cheat, right? But the pay for no, it's only a page, a bond page with your information only. So some companies have a payroll 
other sign of Satan. It's both are legal, both are normal, right? So you have I, I, I think Hazel is a list of all companies' employees. So you have all the names of all the company or of all the employees of the company and the salary of each employee. Yeah. So the word payroll also refers to the total amount of the money paid. So all the money that the company pays to the to the to the employees is also called payroll. Aún no ha venido la planilla, dice, right? But that the total amount of, of the money that the company pays. And that's what you sign. That has, for example, you, uh, for the classes of Instaford, you have to present a copy of the payroll, right? That is a requirement, something that your company has to present. Now, what is the accounting period? What does it mean, the accounting period? Mm -hmm. Who wants to tell me? What's the accounting period? Is it an accounting period? Is any time frame used for financial reporting transactions that fall within a given date range for part of the statements or report for that accounting period? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's the accounting period. The time, for example, if you say a we're going to have the accounting for the for the month of okay, of February. Yes. Check the definition. That's the time period over which financial statements are produced. So usually, usually a year. Yeah. That's the period over which the financial statements are produced. What about auditor? That's similar to Spanish, right? Auditor. Teacher, mm -hmm. someone whose job is to carry out an official examination of the accounts of a business and to produce a report Exactly, exactly. So the auditor is a person who evaluates, right? Whose job is to evaluate the accounting records. Hay un contador en la empresa que lleva estos records, but the auditor evaluates those records in order to make sure they have been done properly and to check if the company is being run efficiently. Sometimes you may have internal auditor and external auditor, so you have both. The internal auditor is part of the company. Some companies have an auditor. So that auditor does this job to see if the company is running correctly, right? But there is also an external auditor that comes to see if your company is complying with the law. That means if the company is paying to the employees all the things that they have to pay. Yeah? So that's the external auditor. That's why I say here we have internal and external. All companies are scared of this auditor, especially the external, the one that comes from outside because they are going to watch the whole thing, yeah? Not just if the company is efficient, but if the company is complying with the law. So that's very important here. Now, check this. What's a bookkeeper? I guess this is the last one. What's a bookkeeper? Mm -hmm. 
Any idea? In the Spanish, is the, well, it's, I, I read that it is, aquí dice que el tenedor de libros, records and classify, Libro contable. No. Is, is it the same as a, an accountant? Or is there any difference? Mm -hmm. Is this the same as a sugerencia? Or accountant? Uh -huh. So is it the same as the accountant? Yes or no? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Can I read it? Sure. Is okay. A bookkeeper records and classifies a company's daily financial transaction, transactions. A sales payroll payment or of bills. An accountant bill on the information provided to them by bookkeeper. Okay, so it's not the same, right? Because the accountant is going to use the information that the, book, that the bookkeeper is giving to him. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, now let's see the definition here. It is a person whose job is to record daily transactions, issue invoices, and complete payrolls. Ya dijimos que eran payrolls, que son invoices. ¿Qué significa invoice? No hay día. Las facturas. Las facturas, those are invoices. So, bookkeepers are usually supervised by accountants. Bookkeepers are required to have less experience than accountants and don't need to degree, don't need a degree in accounting. The accountant has to have a degree in accounting. Contabilidad, right? But the bookkeeper, no. Es como el asistente del, del contador, digamos. ¿Sí? En algunos lugares no lo llaman bookkeeper, sino que como contador junior. ¿Sí? That's another name it can have. Any question here? Y será como el que, es como que el que recoge toda la información, pero el análisis la, ya la hace el contador. Este es como el asistente del contador que le hace eh, los trabajos pequeños, digamos, para que el contador, ya teniendo todo, supervisa y, y termina de cuadrar. Right? Any question? Vamos a ver qué tanto se les quedó. A ver. Give me the answer. They had to hire a one because Jane was not qualified to produce all the documents for the audit. In. What's the correct answer? Auditor, accountant, or bookkeeper? Bookkeeper. Hmm? Because Jane was not qualified to produce all the documents for the audit in June. Uh -huh. <clears throat> 
what do you think is the correct option? Now that you know all the meanings, right? Bookkeeper. Are you sure it's the bookkeeper? The auditor. Cuando dice was not qualified to produce. Uh -huh. So if the other person who was doing the job was not qualified to produce what you need, who do you need to hire there? Accountant. Accountant. Accountant, exactly. You need to have to, to, to get an accountant. Okay. Nice. Now let's go to the next. <clears throat> the is, in, is an important accounting document showing a company's assets, liabilities, and the owner's equity. That's easy. Balance sheet. The balance sheet, yes. This is the accountant, and this is the balance sheet. Good. What about this one? The auditor was looking at the financial statements that the company presented him when he realized he was actually interested in a different. He didn't have to, have to ask for a different set of financial statements. In, um... Yes, yes. Income statement. Income statement, payroll, or accounting period? Accounting period, please. Mm -hmm. The accounting period. Because if you see, he said, the, uh, the auditor was looking at the financial statements, you have the financial statements, right? That the company presented him when he realized he was actually interested in a different accounting period. So I'm not interested in the 2021. I'm interested in the 2020. Huh? Right? That's the accounting period. Remember, we say the accounting period is usually a month, a year. Right? You then have to ask for a different set of financial statements. Mm -hmm. What about the next one? Equity means? He was hoping to be able to raise enough to set up his own business in five years time. He was hoping to be able to raise enough capital, capital. Mm -hmm. enough capital to set up his own business in five years. Okay. Questions. Questions, questions so far. Nope. Okay, well, I'm going to send you with this balance sheet. You will go to the rooms, I'm going to start sharing here. You go to the rooms and work on manual page 43. Yeah, study the consolidated balance sheet, January 30, 
2017. Like, yeah, how many years ago? Five, five years ago, right? So at first you will read the, the balance sheet and then you will answer a couple of questions. There you go. Let me let me send you. I'm going to send you in groups of three. Three. There you go, chicos. Page 43. 43. Try to join. Grace, Noé, and Judy, try to join. No, yo ya me había ido al grupo, pero no sé, le di para atrás y me regresó, Ticho, pero ya voy al, al grupo de nuevo. Ok. Noé, Noé, Judy, me ha quedado David solito. Hola, Ticho, es que me, me estuve un, un ataque de mi hija. <ríe> no, no me dejó entrar cuando estaba ahí. Por eso me vine para acá. Okay. Sí, ya estoy, ya estoy listo. Ok, perfect, perfect. Try to join. Sorry. Teacher, no puedo compartir la, la pantalla. Ahí está. Ah, hoy sí. Bye, ahí está. Ahí está, gracias. Eh, read the information again to answer the question. Compare with a partner. How much? Eso vamos a hacer, ¿verdad, Tich? Esa parte. No, pero no Analyze. Analyze. How much is the total of assets and the ¿Cómo es que la liabilities la, 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 en 20, ¿cómo se dice eso? 2016, eh, 17. 17. 17. 17. Yeah, total Tendríamos que sumar, ¿verdad? Ah, tendríamos que sumar. <risas> La calculadora. Vamos a ver total haces. mil. Más seis mil cuatrocientos ochenta, seis millones cuatrocientos ochenta mil. That sounds a lot. <laughs> sí. Total laces es eight ¿Esto? million. Eight. Uh -huh. Eight million, sí. Esperen. Edwin, ¿o quién sí. me estaba diciendo? ¿Cuál suma me estaban diciendo? ¿De eh, assets o la Ah. Ajá. Uh -huh. Espérame, que yo tenía esta, la voy a poner para que la comparemos. Ay. 
380 mil, no sé cómo se lee eso, 6,480 millones, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí, 680, 680, 6,480,000. 600 for... Yeah, 6 million, right? Sí, sí, serían 680 million, ¿verdad? Así sería. ¿Quién lo quiere decir, Caro o, o Grace? 600. 680 million, because they, we have six zeros. Igual, ¿verdad? Les está sumando. Sí. Ok. Creo que esta empresa no va a quebrar. No, no va a quebrar. Sí. No. Son si nosotros somos los montadores, sí. Come on. Teacher, por ejemplo, en el total de la primera, así se lee, 8 trillions, 91 millions, hasta ahí. 8. Yo busco traducción de billones y me dice trillions. Millón es million. Millions. ¿Y, tri y billón? Tri trillón. Trillón sería trillion. Pero si yo pongo billón, también me, me este, traduce a trillions. Es lo mismo. Millón. No, billón. Billion. That's a billion. Billion. Mm -hmm. That's a billion. No, sure. Billion, million, billion, trillion. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Please. Attendance. Sí, ahorita, yeah. pero solo quiero que terminen allí antes de llevármelos. Ok. Vamos a Yeah. Right information that I need to. But it says how much is the total to assets and liabilities in two or one thing? Tenemos que mencionar las dos cantidades: total assets y total liabilities. Del 2017. Uh -huh. Ajá, veamos. De activos y pasivos. Eh, veamos. The total of assets are 8 trillions, 91 millions. Yes. Así sería la primera respuesta. Pienso, no sé. ¿Qué dice? Sí. Puedes compartir, por favor. Uh -huh. Ah, ok, ok. Ah, sí. hola, Ticha. Tenemos una duda. <ríe> A ver, dígame. Vale, en la primera pregunta, entendemos, vale, lo entendemos así va. Que cuánto asciende, dice, el total de, de los activos y pasivos en el 2017. Tendríamos que poner por separado el detalle de los activos, que son 8.091, y aparte el total de los, de los pasivos, 14.339, o la sumatoria de ambos. Vamos a ver, ¿qué dice la pregunta? How much, How is, much the is the total? The total of assets and liabilities. Saquen el total de los, de los assets y saquen el total de los liabilities. Uh -huh. Vea que así es, el total de que vamos. Sí. 
Okay, I will see. Tamo okay. bien. Ah, ok. Entonces sería así, por separado. Exacto. Ok. Tenía yo la duda porque yo lo quería poner una sumatoria. Ah, separate. Porque se los, le está pidiendo cuál es la suma de, de, de ambos. O sea, de cada uno de ellos, por separado. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, sí. Es que contablemente no se pueden sumar, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo? No, esos dos no se pueden sumar. Ajá, no se pueden sumar. Porque uno está a un lado y el otro al otro. Remember, uh -huh. one goes to the, to the right and the other goes to the left. Uh -huh. No se puede. Vaya, y en la segunda, si es la, entonces en la segunda, si es la sumatoria. Lo mismo que está abajo, donde dice. Que le agregue, dice, que le sume. Ajá, que le sume. El... Uh -huh. Que le sume. Ahí, el... ahí, sí, sí, ahí sí. sí sería solo colocar un total entonces, ¿verdad? Sí. Pero es lo que ya teníamos. Ah, no, ¿verdad? Y si okay, sumamos. Tres, dos. No, ajá. Es que los, la, las mismas cantidades que está dando la pregunta es las que están ahí en el, en el balance. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <coughs> Eh, ah, me da, bueno, no sé cómo se lee, teacher, tres, tres millones cuatrocientos cincuenta y un mil. Sí, algo así, solo que lleva más cero. Uh -huh. Sí. Pero esa cantidad de ceros como que fuera más de millones. Ok, so, so, so. Uh -huh. Tell me, Karen. Ah, este. Que me agarró de toser feo. <ríe> este. Es que como son cifras bastante elevaditas, no sabemos si son millones o billones. <ríe> vale. O sea, ¿cómo se leería? Por ejemplo, seis ceros, el... Con seis ceros son millones. Sería tres millones cuatrocientos cincuenta y un mil. Así se le di. Tres millones cuatrocientos. Vamos a ver. Escríbame, escríbame la cantidad ahí, vamos a ver. ¿A dónde? You can share your script. Y el chat. ¿En cuál chat va a salir? De, de... En, en esta, en esta. No estamos nosotros. Así, ah, ahí lo envié, Tich. Ah, yo buscándolo allá abajo. 
Okay. <clears throat> three mil, uh, three thousand four hundred fifty one million. Pero nos piden leer el siguiente sí. número. Es un número muy grande y obviamente por simple inspección no lo vamos a poder leer sin dificultad. Entonces... Ahí usted me está diciendo 3.451 millones. ¿Right? De eso sería 3.000 3, 3, 3, Ponemos coma, 400, ay, iba a poner por, 451 million. Uh -huh. 3,000, 3,451 million. Porque los millones son, son, Seis ceros. Uh -huh. Sí. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Mm. Ah, me los llevaré. Yo creo que hoy sí, verdad. Ya estamos. Perfecto. Ready, ready. Ready. So, no sé how many not to the Okay, let's go to the attendance right now and then we check. Anna? Anna? Anna Alicia? Present teacher. Uh, Carolina? Present teacher. Edwin. Present teacher. Grace. Great Grace. Isabel. Present teacher. Alfredo. Alfredo. Present teacher. Juan José. Present. Okay. Karen. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Luis Mauricio. Marina. Marina. Presente teacher, presente. Soy David. Present teacher. 
Teresa, Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Rosa de Jesús. Yuri. Present Miss. David. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Pasha. Let's check your answers now. Okay, what is the first question says, uh, how much is the total of assets and liabilities in 2017? What's the total of assets? Vamos a ver quién nos comparte su pantalla. A ver, a ver. La volunteer. ¿Quién nos comparte pantalla? Share your answer. Only one. No tantos, no tantos. Thank you, David. Okay. What is the total of assets and liabilities? Okay. Uh -huh. Assets is... Eight. Eight thousand. Eight thousand. Eight thousand ninety-one million. Okay, well, 8,091 million. And the liabilities? 14,000. 339 million. In the stock holder? 3,000. 3,451 4, million. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, David. Hey, that's nice. You're welcome. Very good. I'm going to show you something here. But check. Vamos a hacerlo aquí a puro lapicerito. Que es más fácil. Ah, sí, es más fácil. No, no es más fácil. Espérenme. No me sale la letra a todas partes. Pache. Vamos primero. Quiero ver qué número agarramos. Dos. ¿Cómo do you say this number? Two. Si le agregamos otro. 22. Bien, galán, ¿verdad? Bien fácil. ¿Sí? ¿Qué pasa si agregamos otro? ¿Cómo se dice ese? 200. 220. Ahora le vamos a dar un número que no sea 3. Seguimos con esto. Le podemos cambiar aquí al número. Pongámosle un foto. Va a ir variando los números. ¿Cómo leemos este número? 3,000. 3,000. 3,000. 3,000. 3,000. 3,000. 3,000. 3,000. 3,000. 3,000. 3,000. 3,000. 3,000. 3,000. 3,000. 3,000. 3,000. 3,000. 3,000. 3,000. 
que allí ya en los números que ustedes tienen ahí, ya lleva eh, un gran puño de ceros. Y esos ceros son seis. Seis ceros son para mínimo. Entonces ahí vamos a decir, without a thousand, two, two hundred, forty, two hundred, forty two. ¿Qué me dice mi puño cero? Cecilian. A lo mejor es más grandecito para los que están en el. Así va. Entonces, empezamos con el de allá, vea. Después, 42. 242. 3,000. Eh, 200. Siempre, acuérdense, este se dice 242. Entonces, aquí yo sigo igual. Lo único que ya agregué uno más. Entonces, ya este ya está oso. Y al agregarle el puño de cero, lo sigo con el 3,000, el 242, y después los seis ceros que me hacen el mínimo. Y ya ahí, si usted quisiera decir, bueno, pues ya no solo son 3,000, sino que son 20,000, 50,000, ¿verdad? 150,000. Ya aquí, si usted le pone otros dos números, por ejemplo, uno y un cinco, sería 153,000, 242 ¿Ok? 153.242 millones. Entonces, aquí lo que me voy a ir a la, a la acá, para darle un truco. Cheque. Thousand hundred. 3,200. No sé, igual. Yo sigo con mi 3,000. 242 mil. ¿Sí? Recuerde. 3,242. Y se va a contar 3,242 mil. Y después 3,000. A otra cosa. Vamos a hablar de los conditionals. Hoy vamos a hablar de un conditional en particular y es el conditional type zero. El zero conditional es el que me dice cuando algo es cierto. Eso nosotros lo llamamos fact. If something is always true. And that cannot be different. Cannot be different, right? Uh, for example, if you say, if I eat peanuts, I'm sick. No, if I eat peanuts, I'm happy. I love peanuts. I, I guess I am like an elephant, right? Elephants like peanuts. If I eat peanuts, I'm happy, no sick. And in this case, it says, it is true only for me. See, for me, if I eat peanuts, I'm happy. Alguien más podría decir, if I eat peanuts, I'm sick. Maybe not for everyone, but it's still true. I'm sick every time I eat peanuts. 
Por ejemplo, si yo digo, if I don't eat breakfast, cheque, que la oración puede ser también eh, eh, negativa, solo tomen en cuenta esto. El if, algunas veces, en este caso, cuando hablamos de este conditional, puede ser reemplazado por when. ¿Sí? So you say, if I eat, vamos a irnos a una, a una página, ponerles otros. Recuerden que estamos hablando de que algo que es cierto, no importa que es cierto solo para usted y para el resto del mundo. If I don't eat breakfast, coma. I get a headache. Headache. O sea, para mí, mucha gente me dirá, ah, yo no como desayuno. Para mí, yo me duele la cabeza. ¿Ya? So I cannot start working without food in my stomach. If I check it, la, puede ser su oración puede ser afirmativa o puede ser negativa. En este caso, como estamos hablando del conditional type zero, present, present, recuerden eso, present, vamos a hablar de present, I have present, The other side, the same. I have present. Si yo hago esto, me pasa esto. Si hago esto, si no hago esto, me pasa esto. ¿Sí? Vaya, ¿qué le sucede a ustedes si no toman café en la mañana? ¿Mm? Completenme la oración. If I don't... Good morning. ¿Qué les pasa? If I don't drink coffee in the morning, I feel like I am sleeping. I feel, uh -huh, I feel dormitado, right? Con sueño. So if I don't drink coffee in the morning, I feel sleepy. Si no bebo agua antes de dormir, si no bebo agua en la noche, no me puedo dormir. Eso me pasa a mí. Ok, ok. A mí también. Es mal de los teachers. If I don't drink water, water no lleva acento. Está con... <ríe> me le pone acento solo porque. If I don't drink water before. Going to bed, coma. I cannot sleep. Eso me pasa a mí también. Si no tomo agua antes de irme a dormir, ya me ha pasado que me toca que regresarme a llevar agua, ¿verdad? Que si no, y si me despierto, I fight if. I wake up in the middle of the night. I have to drink water. Water, no asiento. What? What to go back to sleep. A check. Esa es otra cosa. Si me despierto en medio de la noche, tengo que tomar agua para poder volverme a dormir. Eso me pasa a mí. Okay. Entonces, ese es el zero conditional. 
por eso, si se fija, decía en las instrucciones, estamos hablando de algo que es cierto. Para todos, probablemente no, tal vez sea cierto solo para usted. Pero no importa. Ese es el, vamos a cambiar letra, esta letra no me gusta. Nunca me ha gustado mucho. Ok, so, if I don't drink coffee, le voy a poner las eh, if clause en rojo y el result se lo voy a poner de otro color. If I don't drink water before going to bed. ¿Se acuerdan? Ayer decíamos de usar go, eh, Sharon después de una preposición. Mira, ahí la estamos usando. ¿eh? Ahí está. Vaya. Ahora, if I don't drink coffee in the morning, I feel, bueno, esto llega hasta in the morning. Todo. I feel sleepy. ¿Ya? What happens to you if you do something? O if you don't do something. ¿Sí? Su, su oración puede ser afirmativa o negativa. Si yo hago esto, me pasa esto. Lo hago esto, me pasa esto. You can also change the order. For example, you say, vamos a agarrar esta. A check. Este if ya no va a ir en capital letter y tampoco lleva coma. ¿Sí? Simplemente cambié el orden. Este, the meaning is exactly. Ahí. Y aquí en vez de coma va a llevar punto porque ya está. ¿Sí? So we say, if I don't eat breakfast, ¿qué pasa si no desayuno? I get a headache. Y otra cosa que me pasa es que empiezo a omitir letras. Right? Me como letras, me como palabras. So if I don't eat breakfast, my spelling is a disaster when I'm writing. I start writing and I start omitting letters. Me las como. <laughs> What we would say, right? Yo me como las letras. So yeah, I start omitting letters if I don't eat breakfast. If I don't drink coffee in the morning, I feel sleepy. Or I feel sleepy if I don't drink coffee in the morning. Yes? I get a headache if I don't eat breakfast. You can make a change, no problem. If I don't drink water before going to bed, I cannot sleep. I cannot sleep if I don't drink water before going to bed. If I wake up in the middle of the night, I have to drink water to go back to sleep. I have to, go, I have to drink water to go back to sleep if I wake up in the middle of the night. So, no importa cuál es el orden que usted le quiere dar a la oración, si quiere empezar con la if clause o si quiere empezar con el result. ¿Sí? Es, no importa. El, eh, siempre, en este caso, como es zero conditional, es present, present, right? Present, present. Y el meaning no cambia en lo absoluto. ¿Y se acuerdan que decíamos eh, que podemos también usar when y no pasa nada? Vamos a jalar otra oración. Por ejemplo, yo digo, uy, I'm hungry. Ay, vamos a ver esto.
de control V. Va, hoy vamos a sustituir el if por un when. ¿Sí? I cannot sleep. I cannot sleep when I don't drink water before going to bed. It's okay too. It's okay. The meaning is exactly the same. It doesn't change. So you say, when I don't eat breakfast, I get headache. O sea, no importa. O sea, siempre lo puede poner al principio, lo puede poner en medio. It doesn't matter. El significado es el, exactamente el mismo. ¿Sí? Entonces usted dice, si no como, me duele la cabeza. Cuando no como, me duele la cabeza. O sea, the meaning is exactly the same. There is no difference. If I don't eat breakfast, I get a headache. When I don't eat breakfast, I get a headache. I get a headache if I don't eat breakfast. I get a headache when I don't eat breakfast. ¿Sí? Any question over there? Question? Aquí tengo otro segmento para usted. Okay. If people eat too much, they get fat. That's real, right? People eat, they get fat. If people eat too much, they get fat. Si me van a decir ustedes, algunos no. Es cierto, algunos no. But if I see you eating, I get fat. <laughs> right? If I see you eating, I get fat. Okay, if you touch a fire, you get born. That's a fact. That's always true. If you touch a fire, you get born. People die if they don't eat. Okay? People die if they don't eat. You get water if you mix hydrogen and oxygen. Yeah, if you mix. Snakes bite if they are scared. See? Snakes bite if they are scared. If babies are hungry, they cry. Ah, yes. We know that. If babies are hungry, they cry. Any questions? No questions. ejercicios en we have enough time. Vamos a hacer estos seis primeros juntos. Y nosotros lo van a hacer ustedes solitos. Let's see. If I wake up. Ok. If I wake up. ¿Qué pasa? If I wake up late. If I wake up late, <laughs> conjúgueme el verbo to be, no me vaya a decir I be. If I wake up late, I, work. I will be late for work. Es que present, present. Present, present. I am yeah. late for, for work. work. Sí, ahorita estamos con zero condition. Cuando lleguemos al conditional type one, allí se va a ser present future. Pero aquí estamos en el zero. Zero conditional is present present, right? If I wake up late, I'm late for work. If my husband... Respetamos terceras personas, oye. Respetamos terceras personas. Porque estamos hablando de present present. If my husband cooks. cooks. Exactly. If my husband cooks, ¿qué pasa? He 
forms the food. The food. The food. The food. The food. If my husband cooks, he burns the food. Mm -hmm. If Julie, tercera persona, not wear, doesn't wear. If Julie doesn't wear, porque vamos a tercera persona. If Julie doesn't wear. If Julie doesn't wear a hat, she get. Con esa? Get. Get. If Julie doesn't wear a hat, she gets sunstroke. O sea que se le da insolación, se dice, ¿verdad? Hey, ya no hablo español. Yo, ajá, se llama. So, le da insolación. Okay, if children, if children, okay, negative, don't, 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 don't eat. Uh -huh. If children don't eat. If children don't eat, well, they are not healthy. They are not healthy. Nice, me llega, me llega. They are not healthy. Yeah. Okay. If you. <laughs> ¿Qué pasa aquí? If you. If you mix water and electricity, you get a shock. Exactly. Aquí está fácil porque you, 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 ¿verdad? No tiene que preocuparse por terceras personas. If you mix water and electricity, you get a shock. What about number six? If people... If people... Eat too many sweets, too many sweets they get fat. If people eat too many sweets, they get fat. Mm -hmm. Easy. Estamos bien? Any question? ¿Les ocurre alguna preguntita por aquí? Sí, no. ¿Nos vamos al otro? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But no questions. No questions. No questions. Okay. Bye. Hagamos estos. Y los voy a mandar quizás al grupo para que se discutan más galán. Les voy a poner las oraciones en el chat. Um, 
algunos the sentences are there in the chat. So let's complete them. Marina, José Alfredo, Isabel, Edwin. Sámenos, sámenos, sámenos. Me imagino que... Hi, teacher. Hi, hi. Nos vamos al manual. Eh, no, eh, eh, van a trabajar en las oracioncitas que les mandé al chat. ¿O quieren que se las ponga aquí en, el, en, el, en el chat de Zoom? No, ahorita la, ahorita la descargo, no se preocupe. Ahorita la descargo, no hay problema. En el, en el WhatsApp la mandó a ti. Sí. Ahorita. Ahí las va a compartir. Vaya, ahí está. Vaya, entonces acá sería if you queda igual. Vamos a ver, vamos a ponerle igual. Insertar comentario. No. Ah, ya vi. Children play outside. Play outside. They don't get overweight. They don't. Uh -huh. They don't uh -huh. overweight. They get, don't. Don't get. Y la otra es, if you hit. Hit ice. Height, es height. Ice. It melt. Sería así, teacher. If you hit ice, it melt. It melt. Oh. Y sería, it melt, nada más. It, 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 ¿verdad? It, it melts. It melts. It melts. Peter, we have a doubt. Tell me. In number nine, it says, if you hit eyes, do we have to add a verb to be, it is melt, or just it melt? It melts. Con S. Ah, it melts. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, it melts. Okay. Number 10. If I speak to John, he gets annoyed. Uh, 
La tía es Jera, ¿verdad? Sí. Yo, yo creo que eso sería negativa, la, la del... Ah, no, está bien, está bien, perdón, perdón. Aquí sería, if Jenny has a party. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí, me siento bien. Lots of, lots of people come if Jenny has a party. Seguro. Sí, veamos... Uh. Uy. Aquí sería she buys expensive clothes y she does shopping, ¿verdad? Correcto. If she does shopping. Revisemos a ver si no nos hemos equivocado. Ok. Es... If you smoke, you get yellow fingers. If children play outside, they aren't get. Ahí tengo dudas. Aren't get será así. Aren't get. Aren't get. They. Sí, verdad. Yes, aren't... Sí, creo que así tendría que ser. I didn't get over wait. If I speak to John, he gets annoyed. What's the mean annoyed? Annoyed, molesto. Molesto. Después hablemosle a John. I feel I feel good the next day if I go to bed early. Sí, verdad? Sí. Sí, 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 sí. Lots of people come if Jenny has a party. Sí, pero ahí sería que todas las personas llegan si Jenny tiene una fiesta, ¿verdad? Es una fiesta. Yes. Lots of people. Uh -huh. Ajá. Jenny, ahí sí es otra cosa, ¿no? Si Jenny hace una fiesta. No, tiene una fiesta, ¿eh? ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero como Jenny, este ser persona uh -huh. no cambiaría, quedaría siempre how, ¿verdad? Jenny es ella. Es has. Ajá, uh ajá. -huh. Jenny has a party. Sí. Porque es, es tercera persona. Tercera persona. Hijas. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Jenny has a party. Ajá. Uh -huh. Has a party. Ok, luego va en la, en la 13. Sí. Aquí se le agregamos, va. She buys. O eso. Expensive. She uh -huh. buys expensive she clothes. Buy. Is she? She goes shopping. <laughs> Go it. Go it. Sí, Carla. Sí. Sería. Go, agregándole ES. Caos. Ah, si usted lo ha anotado, no va a poder compartirlo. ¿Eh? Usted lo ha anotado, no va a poder compartirlo. ¿verdad? No, porque como la estoy escribiendo en el cuaderno, no sé cómo podríamos hacer. Bueno, pero no tiene, ah, no tiene usted dónde anotar. Ahí. Es que ustedes no, no utilizan, ¿verdad? Físico, ¿verdad? Yo sí, en algunas partes. En algunas partes. ¿Sí? para dictarle ahí es que es imagen si fuera de pdf los podría cambiar yo pero sí es imagen 
pero como lo he hecho con lápiz, quiero ver si me sale la fotografía. Pero voy a intentar. Yo creo que sí saldría. Voy a tomar la, la, la fotografía y ya se lo comparto. Oiga. Con nosotros finish. Finish, teacher. Finished. Yes. Me lo llevaré ya porque ya es hora. Solo que solo cara. No hay solo carencia de Sí, yo quiero compartirle, pero no me sale el chat. Los demás te... no, no se puede todavía, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo no? Ya puede compartir, aunque no hayan venido. Pero, ajá, porque quiero seleccionar, no a todos, sino a los de mi grupo. Ah, ya, ya están viniendo. Sí. A ver, a ver. Vaya, vamos a hacer una cosa porque nos queda un minutito. No me pierdan las oraciones, las vamos a revisar. Lo primero que hagamos el lunes al lunes. ¿Ok? Vaya, vámonos a la A de más. Porque yo sé que hace hambre, hace sueño, hace de todo. Vaya, vamos a ver. Ana, Alicia. Presente, Tiche. Carolina. 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 Presente, Edwin. Presente, Tiche. Grace. Presente, Tiche. Isabel. Presente, Tiche. Alfredo. Presente, Presen, Tiche. <ríe> Juan José. Qué bonito. Está beautiful dog. José Alfredo. José Alfredo, medio le escuché. Present teacher. Juan José. Present. Karen. Present teacher. Carla. Present teacher. Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Marina. Present teacher. Eh, Noé David. Present teacher. Rosalinda. Present teacher. Teresa de Jesús. Yuri. Present, Miss. David. Present, teacher. Excelente. Bueno, nos vemos el lunes. Tengo un voluntario para que se quede conmigo. Ya terminamos con toda la ronda. No, teacher. <risa> María, sí, sincera. Sincera. Sí, sincera. Que llega tu sincera.
que ir a porque, ah, solo una cosita porfa aprovechen el fin de semana de ponerse al día con lo que me deban hoy vale. yes, teacher. Okay. yo pensé que para descansar teacher. Oh. bye bye Bye. 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 Me quedaré yo, teacher. Hey, excelente, excelente. Vaya, ¿qué me cuenta? Eh, quiero aclararme un poco más uh -huh. unas dudas yeah. sobre los ejercicios que hicimos hoy, a casi al final. Ok. El, el primer verbo no va a cambiar en la oración, ¿verdad? Ajá, ya le voy a compartir una pantalla. Los últimos, lo que mandé a hacer, ¿verdad? Ajá, correcto. Okay. No cambia porque su su sujeto que está ocupando es yo. Ajá. Usted ve reflejado eh, cambio en el caso que ocupe chi. Ajá. Si sí, ocupo sí. chu, hay. Ají. O, o day. Si ocupa you, the children, por ejemplo, you, I, hay, lots of people, ahí no se ve cambio. ¿Verdad? No sufre ningún menos, cambio. A menos que lo que yo le estoy dando en paréntesis sea negativo. Si lo que yo le estoy dando entre paréntesis es negativo, sí, ahí sí va a haber un cambio. Como okay. en, en la número 8, no get. Exacto. So ahí sí va a haber cambio. If children play outside, they don't get overweight. They don't get. Uh -huh. They don't get. Okay. En ese caso sí cambia. ¿Verdad? ¿Por qué? Por el negativo. Oh, children, uh -huh. children play outside, they don't get. Okay. ¿Cómo haría la número 7? ¿Yo? La número 7. ¿Y yo y yo smoke? If you smoke, you get yellow fingers. Exacto. You get yellow. Como es present, present, no se le ve mayor complicación. What about number uh -huh. nine? If, if you if you hit eyes. It, it melts. It melts. It melts. Ajá, en este caso sí tenemos que ponerle S. ¿Verdad? Mm. If you hit ice, it melts. Por las terceras personas. He, she, it. Por el it. Ajá. Por el it. En ese caso sí hay que ponerle S. Igual al número 10, sufre cambio la segunda parte. Cheque. If I. Ajá. How did if you I go? If I club. If, if I, I expensive club. If I speak to John. Is, if I speak to John, he. He gets annoyed. Mm -hmm. He gets annoyed. Es bien bravo el, 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 el chon. Se <laughs> molesta. So, if I speak to John, he gets annoyed. 
siento que, a menos que elegirse a alguien más, como que se pone molesto porque hablo con otro. Ok, I, okay. I feel good the next day. Uh -huh. I feel good the next day if I, I go to bed early. Exactly. If I go to bed early. Lots of people. Lots of people come. Mm -hmm. If Jenny has a party. Exactly. exactly. Okay. People come if Jenny has a party. Yeah. Number 13. She. She buy expensive club. She buy or she buys. She buy or she buys. She buys. Uh -huh. She buys expensive clothes. If she. If she goes shopping. She buys expensive clothes. Expensive she clothes. Goes if she goes shopping. Ajá, así se va a ver el ah, cambio sí. en la oración solamente si estamos usando tercera persona. Las terceras personas. Terceras personas. Hacen, sí. hacen el, el cambio, prácticamente el cambio natural de ella, ¿verdad? Ajá, exacto. Si no, del uso de las terceras personas. Ajá. Si no, no se va a ver el campo. Hoy sí. Hoy sí me queda súper claro. Excelente. Por eso quería quedarme porque la, la tarea 19 me salió súper dura. Este y no, y no la pude hacer. Ah, pues hoy aproveche, hoy aproveche. Hoy sí, cheque. por eso dije, hoy me quedo. Y cheque, que si fuera negativa esta de aquí, si aquí dijera no go, aquí tendría que cambiar, ¿verdad? Tendría que cambiar a dase. Dase. O sea, ahí es ir tomando en cuenta la Ajá. tercera persona. Ajá. She buys expensive clothes. She doesn't, buys shopping. doesn't go. Le vamos a poner. Y cambiaría. She doesn't buy expensive. Y cambiaría. Y cambiaría. Ya no lleva ese el verbo. Uh -huh. O sea, si, si fuera negativa, ¿verdad? Si ahí le dan not go, sí. pero está usando she, te va a decir if she not buy. She doesn't buy expensive. Well, she doesn't buy expensive clothes if she doesn't go shopping. No compra ropa cara si no va de compras. <laughs> Pero uh -huh. compra ropa sí. cara si va de compras. Si va de compras. Uh -huh. Entonces, Entonces ahí sufriría el cambio nada más, el, el auxilio. El auxiliar. Exacto, el auxiliar. el auxiliar es el que cambia y el verbo se queda en, en la tercera, o sea, él se queda normal. En, en su forma base. En su forma base. Exacto. Excelente y claro. Muy bien. Any other question, Isabel? O ya, ready. Ready con esto, teacher. Sí. Ready. Excelente. Hoy sí que, que se prepare esa tarea 19 porque ni la voy a sentir. Sí, porque la, la última parte del examen también tiene dos preguntas de conditionals. Ajá. No, pero hoy sí ya voy con todo. Gracias por la explicación, teacher. Have a nice weekend then and see you 
Monday. Thank you. You're welcome. See you Monday, teacher. Good, Monday. Good night. Good night. So we see you.